Good everyone, I hope you're having an amazing day. Um, so in this episode, I'm going to talk about login flows. Um, although the login flows was pretty straightforward, but I thought it just it will be good for me to cover it anyways. So now you might wonder what the heck is a login flow, right? So the login flow we use in general to customize the login experience and also to integrate uh, business process with Salesforce authentication. So for instance, if you wanted to collect the user information at the login, which what I'm going to demonstrate today. So for instance, if you wanted to collect a user phone number or, or other information, right? When the user logs in, you can uh, give this option of login flow, or if you wanted to configure multi-factor authentication, or if you wanted to integrate a third party, um, strong authentication, uh, methods, then you can also use the login flow. So, um, so what I'm going to do, uh, I've created a flow. I'm just going to show you what I've done and we're going to build the login flow and then we're going to test it out. That's pretty straightforward. It's a very, uh, simple, uh, session, nothing fancy about it. Right? So what I'll do, so I logged into my org and so, I, so I'll go to setup here, right? So if you do not know how to go to setup, it's pretty straightforward. You can see this gear call icon here, right? Just click on here and click on setup right it's pretty straightforward it takes you here <clears throat> okay so under quick find uh look for flows and i built the flow and my apologies that flow is not very well uh developed so it's just a very sample flow and so usually you know i prefer to do it a little bit different right but just for a demonstration purpose this will do the job okay so this is a very basic flow right so what i'm doing first of all I'm getting a user record, okay? So, so I'm getting a user record based on the username. So this is a username which you, which uh, the system will send to the flow. That's the logged in username. When you logs in, right? That's the username we are talking about here. And I'm actually querying the the user record using this username. And so I get the record here, and I'm actually doing a decision to say, okay, um, if the phone value is null. Right. If if the user don't have any phone number, then displays the stuff, right? And then it will bring the, you know, a basic, you know, user flow screen, which has phone number on it. And then I'm assigning, and then and updating the user record. Pretty straightforward, right? So that's exactly what I'm going to demonstrate it. Okay. <clears throat> so that flow is pretty simple. Now what we're going to do, we're going to go to the login flow. Now the beauty about the login flow, right? You can assign this flow based on your profile, right? So for instance, if I'm a sysadmin, right? I, if I want, uh, say, so for instance, if you are a sysadmin, right? You wanted to log in to this org, right? And I can customize in such a way that, you know, sysadmin will have a different experience. And if you are, say, you belong to a separate profile, right? A user belong to a separate profile, you can um, link a new flow using a login flow option right to keep keep that user different experience so that's pretty cool so so search for login go to login flow here and so go to new and what i'll do i'll just say type you can actually link visual force page if you want or you can link the flows right just to keep it simple i just build the flow right so go to flow <clears throat> and i can say uh get user phone number okay so and flow look for the flow name so this is my update user flow user license right so i'm gonna choose salesforce and see this is what i was talking about the profile which you wanted to link this uh specific login flow to so what i'm gonna do just to keep it simple i'm just gonna go um Salesforce administrator, you might have a business requirement where you wanted to limit this to a specific profile, right? So, which is great. And you might also have a requirement where you wanted to create a new visual force page and give a user of that profile a different experience, login experience, right? That's all great. So it just depends on your business requirement, but we're just doing a very simple demo just to give, you know, give you a context. Okay. We save it. That's pretty much it. So we are good to go. Now let's test it. Right. So I'm going to log out. Um, I'm just going to test it. Right. I just log in using my name. Okay. And um, oh, hopefully I remember. Yeah. 
sometimes I use single sign on. So, all right, never mind. All right, so the kicks in. Right, it asks you for a number, so I will say one, two, uh, blah, blah, blah for now, right? I didn't put any kind of authentication. You can put a validation if you want. Uh, you know, you can do a lot of stuff, right? But for now, I just kept it simple, okay? So I keep this dummy phone number, um, okay? And that's done. Okay, so now let's look at the user record just to see if it's updated. And... All right, so let's see. Oh, come on. Um, somewhere here, right? <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's see, mobile. Yeah, it updated, right? Now let's try to log in again, right? Because obviously you don't want that things to pop up again and again and again, right? Because the main intention is to gather information once, right? So, um, I'm just going to do that again. So. Right. So you don't get that option. Uh, so it does whatever it's supposed to do behind the scene, right? So that's pretty much what I wanted to talk about in terms of the login flow. This marks the end of the identity series. Now I'm going to start a uh, platform developer 2 certification series. It's going to be a big one. I'm going to talk about... Uh, I, the only thing I just wanted to tell you, I won't be helping you doing uh, your, um, you know, every aspect of Platform Developer 2. Um, so which I'm, what I meant by that is I won't be helping you uh, doing your super badges, right? That I would expect you guys to do by yourself because I'm not going to help you with that, right? Because I want you guys to, you know, put an effort on that and figure out by yourself. Otherwise, what's the point, right, if I have to do everything, right? So that being said, I will walk you through, you know, different aspects of Platform Developer 2. It's pretty amazing certification, right? It tests you a lot of skills, and it's, and it's not really difficult, right? It's, I mean, to be honest with you, there's nothing to, I mean, Salesforce is not really difficult, right? It's pretty simple technology. The only thing is that they got a lot of stuff going on. That's the only thing, right? So I don't consider Salesforce difficult at all in any sense, but I do consider Salesforce very exciting and interesting piece of the technology, right? So that being said, that's all I wanted to talk about in this episode. I hope you guys have an amazing weekend. Adios.